Hello, this video is going to uh, show us how we can actually do logistics regression in R. Uh, so let's go ahead and import our data set from Excel. This data set is also posted on Camrex. And its name is the lasagna triers. Um, let's import this. And as you are importing, make sure that you change the name of this data frame is to my data. Um, you can see a good preview of the data. We're going to take a deeper look into it in R, but let's first import it. Yes, I imported it successfully. My data is showing up on the top right. Um, and here is my, uh, my data information. And what I see here is I do have lots of people here, right? I think 800 something, 856 uh, different person with their age, uh, rate information, income level, their pay type, whether it is hourly or salary, car value, a credit card debt in dollar value, gender type, whether they live alone or not, yes and no information, the well type, their apartment or house condition or information, uh, it is a home or condo or apartment, that's what we do have here, I think three different categories. Uh, mold trips that they make um, in a month, and neighborhood information, whether they live in east, west, or I believe north, there is, oh, sorry, I'm sorry, it is south category, so that we do also have three different neighborhood information for each person. Um, and then finally, we do have a column where we do see this dependent variable that we are going to be working on, and that is have tried or not whether these people have tried our lasagna samples when they visited our store in the mall. And for an awkward reason, we do collect this much information uh, on these people uh, when they come and visit our stand and then try to, maybe you know, they are being offered uh, lasagna samples and we do keep an information whether they did try it or not. Of course, um, this is a hypothetical data and um, implementation of such a prediction algorithm is wide in the industry. So for example, um, churn information is something that companies are after, right? Whether a specific customer is going to churn this month or this year or not. And they do have uh, lots of information for a specific customer and they are dying to predict correctly whether that person is going to churn up or not, right? So take this um, example and, um, well, it will resonate a lot of uh, business and um, real life related uh, examples. But um, since this data is available to us, we are going to be working on it. Uh, what we are going to do is we are going to put together a logistics regression on this column where it says have tried column with two observations, yes and no based on the information that we do have on our customers. All right, so first thing first, let's take a look at the structure of the data, see what we have. Um, we do have a quick quick look into data here. Person ID number is not something that we will be interested in. Those are just um, um, not meaningful numbers. Um, age information, yes, it is numerical, that's correct. Rate is numerical, income is numerical, yes, I would like to see that. Uh, in my system like that. Pay type, it says character. Well, I should convert this into categories, okay? And car value should be numerical, that's fine. Credit card tab, it should be numerical, that's fine. And gender information is taken as a character. And I should again convert this into a categorical um, column. Live alone, yes, I uh, know. It should be categorical, this character now. The well type, um, yeah, it should be home condo or um, apartment, right? So it has three categories. It is now listed as um, character and I should convert it into categories. Mold trips, um, yeah, this, should, this can be the Mac, that's fine. The neighborhood, it should be categorical. And finally, have tried, should be categorical as well. So what this information do here this line of code from six to 10 is going to convert all my um, character, turn the character independent variables into 
uh, categorical independent variables. So I'm going to run them all. Um, I got an error here. It says my data pre type. My, okay, so there's a double M here. So I know that. And I read on this line. It worked. Uh, let's call uh, structure my data one more time to see whether our independent variables changed. Yes, pay type is now a factor. Gender is now also a factor. Live alone is a factor. The wall type is a factor. Neighborhood is a factor. That's good. And it's um, are basically allocated certain numbers to represent different categories. That's good. I would like to also change my have tried into a, a categorical variable, but I will also change from this nose to yes. Um, so the nose yes to a, a numerical categorization. Um, let's do that. Uh, let's change it first to from yes to one. Well, this, this if else method is going to take a look at the the have tried column of my data frame. And then it's going to look to see if it is equal to yes. If it is equal to yes, it's going to change it to one. If it is not equal to yes, it's going to change the value to zero. Okay, let's first do it here. All right, this line worked. And line 15 is going to convert my uh, have tried column into a critical information. We can come back over here and rerun this line 15, sorry, line five. And what you see here is my dependent variable is also a categorical information. Previously, it was no yes. Now it is you know, a zero and one. That is good. Yes, so see no was converted to zero and yes, now was converted to, converted to one. Uh, this way is going to be much more easier to represent my pre my predictor and predicted values in logistics regression. So uh, in the next video, I'm going to show you how we can partition data into train and test set and how we can implement uh, the very first logistics regression.